what did South Park say? South Park was ginger, gingers have no souls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you feel to be a ginger, even though it, it's rare? It's tell me, all, tell me all about it. I need to hear. I need to hear some ginger stuff. You know, so I'm 39. Yeah. So in the 80s, when we emigrated to Canada, uh, into Mark, and we we I grew up in Mark. Yep. I went to this uh, at first, and we moved into the first community we lived in in Markham, um, St. Edward's Catholic School. Yeah, I went, and every kid there was Italian except for me. I was the only I was redheaded, freckle faced, pasty skin. Yeah, <laughs> and you can imagine, you know, got teased a little bit. It was, you know, yeah. an easy thing. Um, but when I moved to my new school there was one other ginger kid. Um, and we actually became best friends through elementary school. So awesome. like, I, I, have, I have some ginger brethren. Were there any experiences that you can remember, you can recall that you're like, man, I, I, you know, I realize it now, but back then, geez, that was really kind of strange. And it could be good, bad, whatever it is. I mean, did you go through that, that stigma that uh, often gets attached to having red hair as a kid? I think, I think often gingers go through some of the most awkward phases. Too. Right. Right. I like think they, you're right. They just do. Yeah. Right. Like, um, you know, if I, I was saying to somebody recently, if it wasn't, you know, you know, I will give thanks any day to Ed Sheeran and Prince Harry because they've made our lives a lot better. They really <laughs> have. Let's see. They, they have. 